Hey what's up everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be unboxing and installing a product from MJ Mods located in Sydney. Uh, so I've gone ahead and purchased a rear diffuser for a BMW 4 Series and I'm going to be going ahead and installing that onto my car. Now what this does is it replaces the OEM rear diffuser on the bumper and gives it a bit of more of an aggressive look which I think the car definitely needs. Now the one I've got here is gloss black in colour which I think will add to the aesthetics of the car but when I did go to buy it there was options of carbon fibre or obviously the gloss black. Um, now personally I think the gloss black suits my car a lot better but I see a lot of people with the carbon fibre trims on their car and honestly they look just as good. So in terms of tools all you really need is a T20 and this 8mm socket sort of thing I'm not too sure what it's called. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Essentially what you're going to be doing is unscrewing the screws which are located on the rear end of the car, obviously underneath the rear diffuser. Now there's three T20s located in the middle and then two 8mm screws on either side. What you want to do is just unbolt them, unscrew them. Um, it's pretty, pretty easy as you can see me doing here didn't take too long. Uh, so what I've done here is just laid the screws out in order of me taking them off. Uh, not that it matters which way you put them in, as long as you put the T20s where the T20s belong and the 8mm where the 8mm belong, you should be right, but I just like to lay them out as such. So now the only thing holding the diffuser in place is a bunch of clips across the top. Uh, so what you want to do is just go ahead and pop these out one by one, nice and slowly, and as you can see it will start to come off. So once you've taken that off, you're left with a nasty bit of plastic that you probably want to clean and you probably haven't cleaned in a long time since you've got the car uh, and you might as well clean the exhaust tips while you're at it. So this is a side by side comparison of the new diffuser and the old one. Um, as you can see the pre-drilled holes on the new one are in the exact same spots as the old one which makes it a lot easier to slide it into place. Finally, line up the new diffuser, pop them in the tabs across the top accordingly and put the screws back in where they belong. 